Yeah. Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. My name is Musimeta. Welcome back to my channel, Living as Tyra. As you can see, I'm still in a village, but right now I'm heading to Mami Njanaka Yukonjiri. So I'm going to Rukunjili district Sizi Nyarushanje So guys, it's where I'll be going Checking on more relatives Yes guys So I was like, since I'm in the west Why, why should I go back without checking on Some of my relatives that stay this side That I take long without seeing So right now I'm at the roads the stage so our house is just there behind right there and it's just opposite the road so it's where i'll be getting a border b right now let me go and get my power bank by the way i'd left it somewhere to charge before i head out here is her mother escorting her <laughs> how are you there guys <laughs> you are very okay oh that's mom who's saying hi so guys, I'm at the road. Um, I'm at the road. The road that goes to Kabale. Ash kaba change it. Are you sure? Ne ni jani bazaku. Ne Guys, I'm waiting for a taxi from here, but I think all taxis are full and I don't know if I'll get one. I got a taxi from where I was home to Rubare. So from here I'm going to get another taxi that is going to take me to Seas, I think. So this is where I am. I'm at a certain shop right here and I'm buying some stuff for my people. So guys, see you. And I'm even hungry to go and get something to eat. I think I'll get like a small restaurant. I get something to eat. So guys, that's it. Hi guys, um, I'm on the road side. If you're hearing any kind of noises, guys, I'm sorry, I'm on the road side. And, but I wanted to record this. So right now I'm in Ruare. Uh, the video, I think before this, you saw me, I was in a, uh, was it a taxi. It was a small car. So guys, one thing about this side is that so like there in Kampala where they use, uh, I think taxis, you see them every time, everywhere, like they're always in plenty. So here they have like specific times. You go to a stage and you know 
uh, and there is a taxi, a taxi or a small car that is coming at around uh, 7 a.m. So if you don't want to go at 7 a.m., they will tell you there is one that comes at 9. So me, specifically, I was targeting that of 9, but it delayed. I got it at around 10. It was coming to 10 or a few minutes past 10. And that, I, I used the wish. So here, people buy cars. So they, they use, uh, they buy cars, they use them as means of transport. Like they can buy, a, someone can get a Corona or a wish. And they use it as public means of transport. Like they use it as a taxi. In actual sense. So I came in at a wish and you saw the video I was seated in front and I was chilling. It dropped me in Rubare. So Rubare, I've ever been here but it was a few years back, like 10 years back. And right now it's, I swear it's now developed, it's more developed. There are people around, there are big shops, there are restaurants. So I'm right now at a restaurant taking tea because I was hungry. So when I reached they told me the next car or taxi that is coming, it's coming at around 10. So I should wait because I, I reached at around 10 from Ntungamo to here it took me like 20 to 30 minutes so right now i'm in rural i'm waiting for a car that is going to take me to cz so that's how it is there are no cars that go straight to cz i believe from tungam this yoga is right here i'm alone i'm moving i'm traveling alone i'm a big girl now and as told you i'm hungry i'm having breakfast tea and chapati as i wait for a guy guess what i'm going to stay late <laughs> So now guys, let me finish uh, drinking and I'll let you know when I get into the next car that is taking me to where I'm going. Where I don't know, I don't know where I'm even getting out from, but I'm, I'm on call. Dad is already there, so I'm talking to him on phone. So his dad will tell me where to board off from. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. This is Travel With Me to Kuanjiri to Seize, wherever I'm going. So guys, let me take my tea. I'm taking milk tea. that came but it was full it was like packed very packed on top like we had luggages the boat was full the car was just literally so packed and guess what i had to just use a border to run to get to see if it's because it had passed and it's packed in front of me so i used the border to go and check if i could get space but i couldn't I'm literally here. I reached here at. Uh, I've been here for like one hour, guys. Waiting. So, guys, as you can see, I'm even using a filter. <laughs> I'm all looking a mess. I wanted something to cheer me up. I was like, let me use this. It will cheer me up. <laughs> so, yeah. But I'm really sad. I've been here for the past one hour. I remember I first waited around in Tungamoko still like 30 minutes to one hour and right now I'm still waiting and guys I don't know if I've told you I have to come back to Tungamoko I'm not sleeping the other side because tomorrow morning I'm leaving I'm going back to Tungamoko so I'm stuck I feel like crying <laughs> So this is <laughs> So guys that's the stage where I'm supposed to wait This is a stage where I'm supposed to wait from but I don't know, I don't know till when guys, I'm really so feeling so bad.
guys that border guy that guy in black and white the one on the border is one who helped me run after a car <laughs> Ran after a taxi and he brought me back. He didn't even didn't charge me. So this is me standing. This is me standing out here waiting in vain and that's the restaurant I was in. So I'm just here standing waiting for a car that I can't find. Oh my god, go and help me. I want to cry guys. I want to cry. It's been an hour plus and I'm here stuck. Zakura lo. Na yeta mani ndakta. Na So guys, I've been running after that taxi. You see the taxi that is in front there? Oh my god, and I'm carrying things. The guy is a nation. In the lab, I'm not
Guys, right now I'm in Rukunjili. So I'm not going to be shooting any video here. I'm just going to be hanging out with my people. But thank you guys for tagging along with me. Hope you've enjoyed the stay, the, the travel. As you can see, I'm guys. I don't know. This place looks so nice. Like there are different hills. There is a hill uh, like just right in front of me, but the camera doesn't give it justice. Like it doesn't. Let me try to see. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing the hill? Let me see if I can capture it. So guys, this is my ancestral home. This is where my great my grandparents lived. May the source in peace. This is where my dad was born. And this is where I spent my first year in this life. I was born in Chisiz and I was raised here for the first year before we headed to Kampala. So this place has a special bond in my heart and I love it. So I'm a girl of the hills. <laughs> so I'm here with my Osha. <laughs> Ayo <laughs> 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 